he was going to go for Foreign. Trace and May versus Epsilon's going to go Mario, or he might also go Cloud. Mario. Okay. Very random fact. Corrin is the same exact weight as Mario. So me and Trey have this thing where as long as the opponent doesn't go to Lilat, we do not care where he goes. And we do that in singles, we do that in doubles, because that stage just blows. <laughs> I like Smashville. This I stage. Like, I like Smashville, but I don't like seeing it every single time there's a set on. Well, that's your fault. Uh, that's your problem. That sounds like a personal problem. Then again, I don't even like the stage of the ninja. Ooh, wow, that was good. Falling there, waiting waiting for an option, and then down, down tilting. So we're going to see some deal off from Trey. We're also going to see a lot of a fair. Fair into fair. Air. Just like anything into fair. That's probably what's going to happen. Or into up air. And he might also just wait for the air dodge to do up B out of it. Mm, I, I've not seen him do that in tournament yet. Okay. He's, he's done it to me like a couple of times. In tournament? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's it's a, I don't know how, uh, how crazy good the option is. But it's definitely not like a terrible one. Yes. Right? Oh my goodness. But like if you condition your opponent to like just air dodge immediately and fireball extended that hitbox. Um if you just condition your opponent to air dodge right away, and I can definitely see the up B uh clipping him, considering that like since it's a multi hit and the uh, the launch angle can be changed like last second, I can definitely see it like killing him super early for like bad DI. You know what I mean? Yeah, it definitely can kill early with bad DI. Wow, Tresemme's movement is just Amazing. Oh, no, double jump, though. And, uses... we, and we got the Tresemme special where he has Ds. <laughs> yeah, he he has he used his double jump and then used the Dragon Lunge. Okay. Wow, that up air didn't kill. No rage. All right, good in there. Never realized how important rage was in this game to, like, you actually try killing without it. Oh, yeah, it, it definitely... It, it plays a big factor in a lot of characters. Some characters are good without rage, but, like, many of them definitely need it. Ooh, oh wow! Waiting a two. Wow! The mind game Beautiful. between these characters or these players. Oh. Ooh. I'm surprised that sounds actually didn't hit. Wow! The shielding straight in front of him. All right. And up there's gonna take that stock. Yeah. And tribute. But epsilon, epsilon got a really good amount of uh of uh extra credit on that stock. So. Yeah. Oh wow! Bad least face back here. Okay. I want to see if he can actually make use of that uh, extra credit. And see if he can take the stock out very pretty early or not. Wow, that was really really good spacing with that nair. Oh my goodness, that nair spacing. All right. So when I personally play with Trey, I know he likes doing nair because uh, if you don't, if he hits you with it, it leads into so many combos. Yeah, you can follow up with almost any of her areas, or just fair or up air or nair. So that's a, that's a lot of rare, uh, areas. So Epsilon playing it really smart, just running up and shielding. Yeah, it's it's good. And I think it is frustrating, trust me, but he, trust me, still getting those straight hits in, and Epsilon still hasn't got anything else. Ooh, nice jump away. Okay. All right, down throw, up air. All right, I just think. going for the damage. Oh, my oh, goodness. I I'm sure Epsilon I, tried to go for an up smash rather than Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Epsilon should have been way more better to do considering the eye frames on it. And Trey trying to clip him with the pivot up smash. Oh, my Ooh, goodness. Up smash out of shield. Yeah, taking it. Game one. Try to go for that grab. Good stuff to Epsilon. I don't know how I feel about this matchup, just because Corrin definitely likes to land with Nair a lot. That's like one of Corrin's best landing options, and it's kind of hard to beat. But Mario's got up smash, and it's invincible head, so it's kind of like, uh, He's gonna die. <laughs> you, still can't land, you still can't land on me. Alright, interesting to see him charge Flood, even though he didn't use it at, at all uh, the previous match. Okay. So Mario Bread and Butter is going up right now. Oh my goodness, Trace May is trying to land with Nair. You it's not fast enough to challenge it. Well, the hitbox starts from like the horizontal side of her. Yeah. Like, oh. and, then it, and then it goes from down, the sword goes down and the 
dragon arm, whatever that thing is, goes upwards. All right, down throw, up air. <gasps> wow, that was really, really good following Ooh. the DI. He's getting the counter. Say, get off me. Nice. Let's see? Oh, good dragon watch to cover, uh, cover the get up. Oh, the dog. So every single time Tristan me like this is a game, he opts to take people over here if they don't ban it. And uh, I'm like even right now I don't know why he would. But uh, I think one thing I can see benefiting him is that when he does the dragon lunge on the on the oh, like on right the, there. On the yeah, on the edge can, of the stage. You can just clip someone's ooh, and back you're not killing. Yeah, especially on the left side of the stage. Usually and he had a jump. Wow, really good stuff. Alright. That's the up smash. Okay. Interesting to see Tristan. Oh! Ooh. Ouch. Epsilon even threw out a fair, which is pretty questionable. That was good from Tresemme. Just punishing it the best way he can, got the kill. Yeah, saying, nope, you can't can't recover high. You gotta go low. Oh my goodness. So I wanna see if, uh, if Epsilon's gonna take the stock early or if he's gonna let the extra credit build up. Alright. Yeah, Epsilon actually. He's really, really good. He's leveled up a lot since I, when I first played him at, up at Galaxy. Man. Yeah, really, I'm really happy for him. He's really good at like chasing down the opponent. Like if if the opponent's in the air, he's really good at following them, just like that. Yeah. But also, oh, oh, okay. There so. it is. That's the reason why he chose this stage. Oh, Dragon Lunch. So is dragon. that the only reason why? Because I could also like if it's that's a, oh, an S on SD is unfortunate. Right now, set counts at one one. So I wonder where Epsilon's gonna opt for. I think he might. I think he might take him to to Battlefield. I think he needs to take him to Battlefield or Dreamland. Cause Town can be a bad uh, a bad counter pick considering that Corn can kill really early. I definitely see Dreamland benefiting Mario more than Corin. How is that? Just cause up smash. Mario likes up smash. That's it. And plus, you can get pineapple to, <laughs> as as Corin. Oh yeah, cause her dragon wings like extend her like her box and yeah. she just dies. But okay, oh, battlefield. Yeah. So I was right on the battlefield. Yeah. Cause they, I know both these characters or players, I should say, would like platforms. Ooh, good down air. Down air is such a good option for Mario to land. People don't people don't expect it. People always expect you landing with an air or a back air. Ooh, I'm trying to mix it up. Tracy may sees right through it. Alright, dash attack. Okay, that was. Oh, I want to see Epsilon like, not roll so much because now he's yeah. starting to get Yeah, I was, I was just about to say. That was actually a re weird roll option. Good dash attack to cover there, dodge. Okay, back air. Oh, nice. Nice run up shield after that back air. Mew was okay, not safe. Punish. Ooh, that, that conversion. Inside beat. Okay. Alright, nice F tilt. It's definitely very hard to space that move also because of how short the range is. Yeah. So I think Tristan makes condition Epsilon to the point where like if he's not gonna oh Yeah, no, actually that's what's been going on the whole match. Tristan is really good at kind of mixing up whether he's gonna land with an air or just drop down and grab. Uh no not not, not necessarily that specifically, but uh if he's gonna opt whether he should uh, dragon lunge on the ledge. So, because you know, he's been seeing that Epsilon's been uh, shielding the whole time. So he's gonna rush in and just uh, just punish with the grab. Yeah. Oh my so. goodness, this string. He's playing with the platform so well in this matchup. You can't just up air like that against a character with disjoints. Tresemme is really just punishing every option that, uh, that Epsilon has been doing. Oh! Wow. Epsilon even just threw out a jab, too. Oh. If, that, if that wasn't nerfed, that probably would have killed, actually. Pro probably. Creep patch poor counter was just gross. Yeah, Epsilon's definitely playing a lot more scared. <gasps> that could have been up smash. Up smash would have taken the stock, too. Yep. Oh, you have to be careful. Corn has landing options. Alright, good. Remember last time he got punished for recovering high, so he dipped lower. I Right. See side B as a. Uh, I think Trey was trying to go for the ledge drop. Uh, oh. oh, but you could punish the regrab, or epsilon. 
Oh my goodness. Wow. No one's no one's used that in a long time. <laughs> just the hop forward into it. Tresemme is trapped. Tresemme is just missing all these uh, Donald Trumps. Right yeah, I, pr I think he might be going to try for the Dragon Lunge at the ledge. Oh, very good. That's going to be the game. Yep. Oh, no, oh, it's Battlefield. Okay, okay. Oh. Doesn't have his double jump. Still make it because he's Mario. Because Mario has a magnet hands. Yeah, it goes really far. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Miss that could have been punishable. Uh, all right, up throw. And, yep. Oh, and that was di terribly. Good play from. And Tresemme wins two one. This dragon, unicorn horse thing. Yeah, good play from Tresemme. Definitely. Brought it back from uh, considering from the SD he got from uh, game one. Uh, yeah, good stuff. He yeah, won the set. Definitely adapted and conditioned his opponent pretty really really well. He's alright though. He's alright. Yeah. <laughs>